I was six years old when the first American astronaut went into space. That was a long time ago, 55 years ago. And at my school, they brought us all to our gymnasium. I sat on the floor and I watched a small black and white television of the launch of the first American into space. And as soon as that launch was over, I said to myself, I want to do that. If you want to do something and you fail the first time, it doesn't mean to give up. It took me four tries to get into the uh, astronaut program for myself. I would have tried five, six, seven times had I not made it in after four. But it's really important not to give up on your dream, to keep working towards that goal. Dr. Don Thomas, Mission Specialist One. The very first time you look out the window, you gasp, you go, oh, like that. Because you just can't believe how beautiful our planet is. Even if you've seen all the uh, movies and all the images of our planet taken from space, when you see it with your own eye and you see the subtle color variations and the detail that your eye picks up that the cameras cannot, it takes your breath away. The second reaction most astronauts have, they're just amazed at how fragile our planet is as seen from space. Here on Earth, we look up at the blue sky. It looks like it goes on forever and ever. But from space, we see it edge on, and it just looks paper thin. And right up next to that uh, blue atmosphere, you have the pitch black sky. And it's a darker black color than I've ever seen before. It's almost like a fluorescent black, like glowing black, a velvety texture to it. It's just unlike any color I've ever seen. So you see that blackness and then the thin blue atmosphere, and it just makes you gasp at the beauty of it. For me personally, the toughest moment uh, would be the launch. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Columbia with the Microgravity Science Laboratory. It's eight and a half minutes to get to space, but I think it's the most hazardous eight and a half minutes of the mission. Once I got to space, I felt relieved. I was uh, euphoric, just so happy that I made it up there, and uh, was never afraid the rest of the mission, just like enjoyed the view out the window. My friends and my family, they all love me. But their reaction at a launch, their emotions at a launch, are much different. My friends from college, they come down to the launch, and it's a big party. They're there to celebrate. They're having a great time. They're cheering as I, I go up into space. But for my wife, it's, it's a much different emotional experience. Uh, she is really distraught. She, uh, she's there to support me, but she hates watching the launches because, again, that's the highest probability of something going wrong. And I always say, if something bad happened on my mission during the launch, I wouldn't even know about it. It would happen like that. But my wife would be there watching it and, and would live with that forever. We come back to Earth with a different perspective of our place on the planet. And I would always tell people, I'm from Cleveland. Now I tell people, I'm from Earth. And for me, it doesn't matter what continent, what country, what religion you practice. We are all Earthlings here, and we all have a responsibility to live together on planet Earth and to take care of our planet, all of us equally so. People will ask me, was it worth it? Was it worth all the hard work? Was it worth the time it took you to become an astronaut? And I say it was worth it a million times over. Uh, this was a, an important dream of mine, and I just never let it go. And I think everybody can do that, even with the smallest of dreams. If you stay focused on it, you get help when you need help, and uh, you don't give up on it. I think you can accomplish. I've learned that one thing in my life, that I can, I can do anything I set my mind to. And I think all of us can do the same. <laughs>